This is the potting shed. <clears throat> There's mustard coming out the potting shed door here on the left. This is some lords and ladies. <laughs> what are you at? There's ferns. There's um, this wonderful cactus, which does foamy stuff. And you can see there's violets all shot through there. And you just want attention, don't you? So the vine house is here on the right. Sadly, this tree, its leaves are coming out. Its beautiful leaves are coming out, but I have a feeling it's gonna get hit by the coming bad weather and get frosted and feel very sickly. Anyway, this is gonna be loads of tulips, the wallflowers and pansies. The tulips are beginning to come out. Over here is, um, that's Bear and Inca. And this is full of ferns and these hellebores are all coming out and are looking good. And then I love these um, primulas and in there, under there's snake grass as well, which I think comes out really well with the uh, primulas and the purples and all those different colors. Um, then I love this. Ow! That hurt! You beast! Grabbed my hand that I was filming with, <laughs> with its claws, and leapt up there. So these are some primulas here. And I, what I was saying was I love these red flowers. I don't know what they're called. You can see tulips are all coming up there. Bold mustard is here. This is the water tank. And um, there are fish in here. I don't know where they are. They're deep down. I've seen them occasionally because I feed them every day. You're a beast. So this is, um, so yeah, the vine house is looking good, the front. These two are playing, which is what's going on here. You such a pup! Oh, you got got! So, um, yeah, so this is the vine house. And there are tulips coming out. Again, I hope the weather, the bad weather, isn't going to get the tulips and knock them for six. And I thought the squirrels had got the tulips, but loads of them are coming up. So I'm really, really pleased with that. There's some strawberries. Here's uh, some roses that need a bit of pruning back. Actually, maybe I won't at this stage. Ah! Whoops. Well, <laughs> that was a bit loud. Mustard. What are you doing there? Here again, these are all my cuttings and seedlings of apple trees, rowan, spindle, gilder rose, hydrangea, um, grapes, uh, cherries, uh, chestnuts, horse chestnuts, roses. This is all my cuttings and babies over that I've been growing over the last number of years. And then in here, of course, is the vine house. These are some tulip bulbs I found hanging about recently. And they're not feeling very clever. Um, I, I found them and they hadn't soil or anything. Anyway, we're going to come in here. And my cucumbers are coming up. Look at that. I'm testing one, two, three, four cucumbers. And three of them are coming up. So I'm very excited about that. The tomatoes are all coming up, loads of tomatoes. And those are the more recent tomatoes. Oh no, sorry, that's not tomatoes, that's a round courgette. There's the more recent tomatoes. And there's some cabbages and leeks, and these are my sweet peas. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, there's uh, lots going on in here. And I love that these are flowering and that these are flowering. It makes it beautiful in here. And my geraniums have overwintered really, really well. I'm pleased with that. So I'm very pleased with how this has worked out this year. And my upcycled shelf is doing really, really well. So I'm very pleased with that. So back out into the garden. And these are more primulas. And then these are um, lupins that I sowed and grew from seed last year. 
I planted them as seedlings last year. So you can see there's the big tank, water tank, and the vine house, and my trees. And this is the peach tree that Stuart gave me. And it's mostly finished flowering, so the bad weather hopefully won't knock it for six. Over here I have irises and artichokes growing. Here's some flowers that are blooming. This is the patio. Here you can see tulips and pansies growing. My rhubarb is doing well. This is thyme, so that when you step on it, it smells good. Here are some little irises that hopefully will look really good soon. And over here's another rhubarb. This is a hydrangea, so I hope the storm isn't gonna to be too bad for it. I haven't pruned back the flower bits yet. I need to. There's more tulips and more thyme. So this is the patio area where I've had lots of COVID meetings and luncheons and all kinds of things. And here's the big burner I got at a salvage place. And here's more potted plants that have outwintered. And here we have peonies and um, lupins. These are white lupins and a variety of peonies. I need to do a bit of a weeding in there. I did have rhubarb in there, but they took over, and so I've replanted them somewhere else. But that gives you an idea of a bit of the garden. Oh, I forgot to show you behind the stable wall. There's loads of more um, hellebores and euphorbia and the honesty is beginning to bloom. So you can see these are the honesties here. That's honesty, honesty. Then these are um, euphorbia and there you can see there's a, uh, an honesty blooming. But then all along here, these are all hellebores that uh, I've been planting and allowing to self-sow over the years. So these are really, really beautiful. There's some love in the mist is coming up. I love love in the mist. It's such a beautiful flower. So these are more kind of plants and flowers. So hopefully somebody was asking about the garden and that gives you a little aspect of the kind of flower area. And maybe another day when I have more vegetables than purple sprouting broccoli and garlic growing, I'll show you the other garden. So that um, gives you an idea. Dogs are having a lovely time. There they go. All through, through the potting shed into the... <laughs> She's got a toy. That's what it is. <laughs> anyway, that gives you an idea. The garden vegetables, a lot of them are grown up over there. So there you go. Oh, dogs. Give her pups. <laughs>